<laughs> Ugh, this guy. I hate this guy. I hate this guy. I hate this guy. Question mark hair. We meet again. You look winded, Virgilio. Virgilio? Whatever. You're, you're, I'm gonna pronounce it how I feel like. No, I'm pretty sure it's Virgilio. You said as much the last time you came. Yeah, God, contradictory toolbox. Pronunciations are a silly thing society imposes on letters. I hate you. They want to be free, they want to pr be pronounced however they want. I don't think the letters care. You look winded, Virgilio. We are all little toys. Win and there you go, winded by the cruel hand of fate. Just stumbling until it decides not to wind us anymore. I'm I'm assuming that's what they're trying to do with this joke. And I think it actually is clever wordplay, but I hate this guy. And yet you're the only one in the vicinity hyperventilating. Yeah, get him, Jill. That's um I was jogging. <laughs> Dressed like that. I can jog however I want, obviously. You've made that a Abundantly clear. Have I? I think I went on about how his face reminds me of someone from something else. And I don't know if I mentioned this already. Maybe this is just my disdain for him talking, but Queen Brom from Final Fantasy IX. Well, that and I've been playing Final Fantasy IX. I'm probably totally off on that. Yes, you can. What can I get you? Something fake, of course. Okay, I type. Uh, fluffy dream. Oh, we'll go with blue fairy. Since, you know, well. I might be a little off there, but you know, wanting to be real and all that. Whatever. Oh yeah, this dude's gonna mess up my flawless service bonus again. Although I think I screwed one up earlier. Well, I messed up my flawless service bonus. I can't blame this guy for that. No, Bronson Extract is not part of the deal. No, not Ice either. Although it seems like they've never made me Ice something and age it. There we go. Here you go. Now tell me why this is fake. Because I didn't even try. Your expectations of me giving a darn about the abstract order are fake. Bravo. Brilliant. Say, Virgilio, where do you work? I take the noble du duties of steampunk music. <laughs> why do you get to work somewhere like that that actually sounds legitimately interesting? But you, you are so annoying. Really, what do you do? I study everything that comes and keep it clean for the people that visit the premises. But lately, my duties have been hindered by the museum's owner. Really? Yeah, he told me to stop touching the exhibits, you're gonna break them, the nerve of some people. You aren't actually employed. He still fails to realize that I'm the curator there. Without me, all those machines would be rustier than they already are. Even the visitors get that I'm the one responsible for those, why can't the owner realize that too? Yeah. I bet he treats you like a janitor or something like that. Exactly. Okay, so maybe that's his job there. Okay then, time for your next challenge, bartender. Challenge, he says. Annoyance, I say. I want purity. 
Alright. I feel like a bad touch would be funny just because. Uh, let's see. Um, it's so unnecessarily brown. <laughs> Alright. Uh, by type, maybe? Uh, Alright. We're just gonna check the... Uh, I don't know why I'm actually trying to... Yeah, I already gave him one of those, so I'm not going to make it again. Fluffy dream. Uh, sunshine cloud. By type. Frothy water. Favorite beer Ertz has since 2040. PG rated shows. Frothy water. Yeah, this is one of each of those, too. Huh. My flavor. Bubbly drinks? Pink Weaver. I don't really know what to give him yet again. the unnecessarily brown one. Bitter. Uh, we're gonna go with Fringe Weaver, I think. Yeah, one and then a drink that is almost pure Chromotrine. It seems that the theme of me choosing what to give him is something that almost hits what he's asking for, but then not actually doing it. How is this pure? It's a drink, it's free from any human sin, and it can do no harm consciously. Ah, yes. Beautiful. <laughs> uh, hmm. Hey you, the guy over there. Me? Yes you. Have we met before? Can't remember. Maybe. Yeah, I think... No, 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 no. We haven't met ever at all. That's an interesting reaction. That's probably what... That was like what Gil said to Dawson the one time. Ah, Jill, I'll be taking my leave now. Be careful out there. Thanks. Huh. Excuse me, have we met somewhere before? Oh, wow. That face, that eye. What about my eye, punk? Yeah, get him, Stella. We haven't met ever at all. Never, ever, ever, ever. Okay, you definitely know these people. Good talking to you, bartender. Well, he just ran away. That's interesting. Did you just scare off a client? Apparently. Well, I'm off. <laughs> Thanks for everything. <laughs> she seems pleased with herself. Don't mention it. Are we done for the day? Yep. Quite a few clients, considering the whole situation. Oh, that Virgilio guy. So the two of you actually met before. Yeah, you could say that. What? What? Gill stuff, don't mind it. What were you talking about to Brian? Well, we were mostly catching up, to be honest. I hadn't seen him in a while. I offered him a drink when we last met. I talked a bit, I talked a bit about what to do after the bar closes. Oh, and I tried to explain the situation with Robert here. He agreed to help me out with that one when the time comes. Ah. Uh oh. I was also tuning up the details for the new employee. The bar is closing and you're hiring someone. New employee? It's gonna be the ghost girl that we keep seeing pop up on the TV. A part-timer. Oh. Well, I was wrong. You'll meet him tomorrow. Oh. Him. So it's a guy. An adorable guy, if I do say so myself. Alright. I suddenly have deja vu. Are you alright, Jill? Yeah. It must be nothing. Oh, Brian told you I did get the flawless service bonus. Look at me go. 
we are going to have enough money by the time that she needs her electric bill paid. Buying a shoulder massager? Well, hopefully. Alright. Shop. Shoulder massager. For those days where you've built up too much tension. I think we could still afford that. Yeah, we should be alright. So she's pleased with herself, she will... <laughs> I need some me time. Use the bathroom. Oh god. Ooh, a Kiramiki blog. Dream person. Every now and then I wonder if I'll be able to meet my significant other. All the stimuli from being born just three years ago and directly being thrown into this wonderful disaster that is the idol industry makes me think of all the things I'm missing. Accidental love, lost love, or even the gentle touch of another person. I feel like I'm in a bubble that won't let me catch all of the possible feel or that won't let me catch all possible feelings. And my senses get tired of the same environment. I want to meet new. I want to meet new people, places. Because even though I have a large bank of knowledge, I never actually experimented with mo what most consider normal. But you guys know that from. But you already know that from my songs. Smiley face. She is incredibly likable too. All right. I guess we'll go with dangerous opinions first. Uh, nano camo underwear. Because, yeah, we read the, uh, the Apollo Bank stuff. Hold on. I want to see what Jill's comments about the dream person. I have, I suddenly have an urge to hug her. That's funny. Alright, now back to the, uh... A tad useless if you're a streaker, or have a boyfriend. Or unless you're a streaker, or have a boyfriend. I think I'll get a pair just to see what kind of skin I can use that use with them. What? They will nickel and dime with the DLC. There's no way to use the skin you want. <laughs> I like I like where this that that was a good comment. It's going to get cracked day one. Maybe, but don't think it will be maybe, but I don't think it will be that fast. Yeah. <clears throat> I think I'll just wait for them it's until it's modded for custom skins. I thought nano machine fabric was bad for your health. No, that was just a meme. My wa my walls are made of that thing, and I'm all right. Are the walls hacked yet? I'm going to marry Camo Tan. We now have underwear that changes its look. Don't you just love the future? Yeah, what is the point though? I would if there weren't a bunch of tools with their business practices. And don't buy the underwear. I won't. This thread is closed. Alright. Augmented eye, what you got? I don't think that one... I don't think... Okay, anyway. The EK, EKDV-186 gets historic update. Weapon enthusiasts are freaking out about the firmware update to the, that makes heavy industries is really releasing for its line of assault rifles. Compatibility with nano camo has been announced. You like guns? <laughs> That's funny. Allowing civilian models of the weapons to use nano camouflage and the option to customize their look for free with the help of... So, wouldn't... Okay. Alright, so... It does, nano camo doesn't necessarily make it invisible. It's like choosing a paint job, I guess. I was going to say, wouldn't that be dangerous if they just kind of used the uh, weird how Dorothy described it the one time, like surroundings shaped? She said that if you tried to use nano camo to make yourself invisible, it would be like a surrounding shaped blur. I was just thinking... If someone did that to a weapon, that would be kind of dangerous. I've been using nano camo in the battlefield for a year now. The... whatever. Chairperson told the augmented eye during a phone conversation. 
and thanks to his flexibility we can sneak past the enemies using the environment to our favor. I almost said behavior, that's weird. Our, our equipment basically is, is basically invisible with nano camo. See, but the thing is, you shouldn't, I don't think you should just give that to civilians. Not for like guns, anyway. The ability to, you know, cloak them, I mean. Am Townships 64 is announced. Oh boy. New waifu machine. Don't you play a game? Didn't you play a game from those guys? Monster Girl Puzzle, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, 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 Bon Soft. Oh man. This is hilarious, since that is the name of the people who made the game. For anime enthusiast market, this is after seeing. I feel that it's appealing to a with The Uranus Game Console? Okay. Launch games have been announced as well. The only used franchises like include popular franchises like the Monster Girl RPG, Monster Girlfriend, and Monster Companion. Oh man. We're going for the Weeb audience, said Kieran51, a Sukabin Soft janitor? Why are they why are they taking statements from the janitor? What's dignity anymore? Men prefer Christmas cakes study reveal. That is one heck of a rant. What? For the longest time, the term Christmas cake referred to a woman aged 26 or above who are regarded as undesirable. What the. What? Just like that, Christmas cake, it ceases to be useful after December 25th. Oh, just like a Christmas cake that. Yeah. But men around Glitch City have developed a sweet tooth. Who doesn't like a mature woman? Todd, 19, told the Augmented Eye they have all the. I'm so tired of spoiled immature girls doing stupid stuff. I say, bring on the hot office ladies. Oh god. Jill, 27, is confused. <laughs> oh, her. Yeah, okay. Christmas what? Is that the opposite of beefcake? After discovering the real meaning, she launched into an <clears throat> hour long rant. I'll let you know that pencil skirts are the best. That's hilarious. I wish. I wish that we knew what the rant was because it was probably hilarious. Oh, that's hilarious though. Also, 26 is a weird cutoff age for that. Anyway, um, I've read everything. I'm kind of fascinated to know who the next or who the person is, but we've been going for a little while here, so I'm going to save it real quick. <clears throat> All right, saved up, all ready to go. And next time, we have something to look forward to with the uh, part-time employee. Thank you for watching, and until then, follow me to Apex.